Hey guys, glad to have you here with me today. We're going to be doing a devotional in uh, the book of Proverbs because being Wednesday, I like to focus in on the wisdom literature for Wisdom Wednesday. And so uh, we're going to be looking in Proverbs and this verse is especially appropriate in light of uh, what um, today is, or at least today in terms of when this devotional is going to be put online. Um, it's Wednesday. It would be November 4th, 2020, and we will have just had an election. I don't know if there's a, a winner announced yet or not, but there's there's somebody who's going to win, there's somebody who's going to lose, and half the nation is going to be depressed because of this. Uh, so regardless of how the election goes, regardless of who wins, whether President Trump is reelected or whether uh, Senator Biden is the president-elect, I, I don't know at this point, but I do know one thing. We need to pray for whoever it is who won the election. Continue to pray for President Trump through the rest of his presidency, whether that's just January or whether that's another four years beyond that. But regardless, pray for his presidency. Pray for him. Pray that God would guide him. And if it's Joseph Biden that won, well then, when he steps up into the Oval Office, then pray for him. You know, we have that obligation as Christians. Whether we agree with their policies, whether we like their personality, none of that matters. We pray for them. Why? Because God told us to. And honestly, it makes sense. When the president does well, the country does well. We should want that. So, kind of boils back down to love your neighbor, right? But regardless um, of the election, I want to take a look at this. Proverbs chapter 28 verse 2 says this, When there's moral rot within a nation, its government topples easily. But wise and knowledgeable leaders bring stability. Whether you're a progressive or whether you're a conservative, uh, progressives tend to believe that things are better than they used to be. Uh, looking at issues like our racial reconciliation, looking at issues uh, like uh, equality between the genders, things like that. They, they will tend to say things are focus in on that and they'll say, well, things are better than they used to be. Conservatives will look at things and say, well, no, no, things are worse than they used to be. It used to be better than, than it is now. And so they will say that things, that the moral fabric of, of this nation is, is decaying. And um, depending on which spectrum on the political scale you're going at, it's probably going to be dictating how you answer that question. And I kind of land somewhere in the middle. There, there's some ways that things are better, and there's some ways that things are worse. Uh, but the point is that this nation is not as healthy in a moral basis as it ought to be, as we could be. And so I just want to encourage you guys, uh, you know, take a look at your own life, get rid of that, that cancerous sin that, that has been plaguing you. Get rid of it and repent and then come together as a church, as a community, as a nation, and, and let's fix the things that need to be fixing. Let's repent from the problems we have and let's get back into a proper relationship with God. Now, all we can do, all I can do is, is an individual basis. Uh, and all you can do is an individual basis. But if we come together, we can, we can cause ripples. God works in the communities, not just in individuals. And so I just want to encourage you to go ahead and do that and just recognize that when we do that, when we have repented, when we've made our life right with God, we can step up and we can become the leaders that God has made us to be. As a church, we're called to lead the culture not to follow it. And so I just want to encourage you, step up, lead. That's what Jesus did. That's what he wants us to do. So that's what I had for you guys. And so just remember that second part. It says, wise and knowledgeable leaders bring stability.
So when you step up and you lead people in the direction of God, it's going to bring stability, right? So that's what I had for you guys. Uh, just remember that I love you and I will see you next time. Bye.